10 News anchor emeritus Bill Williams here with his thoughts on John Ward. And Bill, before we get to you, I do want to run a, a sound bite when John Ward announced that he was retiring. So yep. let's take a look at it. Uh, I have a prepared statement. I'm going to read it verbatim. It's time. And that's pretty much how John was, right? When he could bring it down to the <laughs> simplest and, and, and the most understandable <laughs> by, right. by any means. Uh, that, that, by the way, was June 4th, 1998. He retired uh, well before the, the last season. And so, the, the, may I go ahead and tell a story Absolutely. here? Absolutely. Okay. We'd love it. Uh, some of the folks came up to him and said, John, we want to do something. We want to do something special. We want to have a special day for you. What kind of a day do you want? And he said... None. <laughs> Good. But, but there was a retirement party. Right? There was a retirement party that went, 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 went ahead and put one together. I was privileged to be uh, be the MC. It was uh, Saturday morning, November 7th, 1998. Planned UAB that afternoon, so we had to, had to get it done early. It was at Thompson Bowling Arena. There, oh, we oh, have video. Oh, wow. Maybe. Look yeah. at this. Yeah, there you go. It was a wonderful, wonderful party. And at the end of it, after all that, John said, you know, it was pretty nice. <laughs> no, th this, is, this is the way he put it. He counted up. He said, I've had 1,987 special days. That, that counts all the ba football games, all the basketball games, all the coaches' programs that I've put on the air, 1,987 special days. But this day was even more special. Thank right? you for that. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Um, and Bill, you know, he was such a great artist at painting the picture oh, it was. that you would see with your ears. Yeah, exactly. And, it, and, and those are slowly kind of fading the way he did it. Talk about his style and his preparation and, and his love for what he did. Well, can, maybe I can explain it best as Kenny, as Kenny Chesney did. Kenny Chesney introduced us at this program we were just talking about, introduced and sang for the first time the song Tennessee, uh, 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 Touchdown Tennessee. And the, the portion of the song goes like this, 20, 15, 10, and 5. Your voice became our eyes, and we saw Tennessee Touchdown. You know, that was it. He, he kept it so simple and mm. so understandable. Yeah, you know, it, 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 was, it was just beautiful the way he did it. Just, it, it just crafted. And a delightful guy to be around. He was, he was. Now, now he was a, pri he was a private, private, and very private, pri very private kind of guy. But he was very, he, he, he had a great sense of humor as well. And he said, you know, that he was a shy person. He was, he wasn't. And, and he'd go into a, a crowded room and he'd be over the corner. Yeah, he really would. Yeah. So once he stepped away, he truly stepped away. Yeah. From that ball game. Well, Bill, we always, it's always great seeing you, and it's always uh, getting nice getting your insight on, on these kinds of things. We appreciate it. It's my, my, my pleasure right. to be here. And uh, we're sorry for the loss of your yeah. dear friend and one Absolutely. that many of us knew as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. All right. Well, more Live at 5 at 4 coming up after this as we remember the great John Ward and his legacy right here on Rocky Top. Four, three, two, one. Yes, yes, yes. Give him six. Touchdown, Heath Schuler.